So I went to 7-Eleven uh, on my way home from school today and I was gonna buy some sun chips because uh, sun chips are fucking delicious and um, they had a sale um, two of those like really big bags for like five dollars total um, so I was I was kind of thinking about it I really wanted to get them but you know five dollars is a lot of money for me uh, and a lot of people too I assume um, so uh, I was considering it so I went to browse the rest of the store seven on the stores yeah convenience store um, while I you know finalizing my decision so I go to so I'm walking around and then I approach the uh, the register area where they have like a bunch of stuff on display like probably their most intriguing products and whatnot like their hot dogs and their candy and the 99 cent bag of chips and stuff like that so I'm looking at the uh, the taquitos and the lady at the cashier definitely knows that I want one so she just immediately comes up to me and asks which ones I want yeah so I tell her which ones I want and then right after she gets them and puts them in a bag for me instead of handing them to me she just rings me up and I don't know I I don't know if I was like too shy to like tell her that I wanted some other things which you definitely shouldn't be shy for because you're you're intending to buy more stuff from their store which is only a plus for them and I guess a plus for you if you really want those things. So on my way back home, just walking home and even now on my chair, I'm just trying to figure out like why why didn't I get those delectable sun chips? Why, why are there no sun chips in my life right now? Um, and right now I'm just concluding that it wasn't so much as being shy but I think I live my life in a very kind of go with the flow kind of manner and the things that I can't really decide for myself I just let random variables in life determine it for me even though they might not explicitly make one decision or another but for me her ringing me up at that point was a sign for me individually that I should just get these taquitos and pass the sun chips over. Holy shit, my hand is beautiful right now. Um, and pass the sun chips, you know, because three dollars is enough spending money for uh, snacks and whatnot. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't spend more tomorrow, right? Which kind of brings me to um, another coincidental point in my life. Uh, in my Japanese class, we're starting a new chapter this week, and our chapters are usually, they last two weeks. We spend two weeks on a chapter, and we learn some parts of Japanese culture as well as some, as well as some new grammar patterns, and kanji, and vocabulary words, and whatnot. And it kind of surprised me when I found out that the chapter for this week, or just that the content could comprise a chapter's worth of material at all, could last two weeks. And this week and next week's topic for our class is uh, Japanese vending machines. And I don't know, if I went to college for anything, then this has got to be it, learning about vending machines for two whole weeks. Uh, I love vending machines, especially Japanese vending machines. I don't know, I've never experienced one before, but the internet tells me that they're fucking awesome. And, um, yeah, I guess it kind of just matched up with 7-Eleven being a convenience store and convenience vending machines and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, uh, vending machines are awesome. They, they give you what you want. Uh, they even got, like, ones that can talk to you now in case you're a loser like I am and have no friends to talk to. They speak in, like, different dialects even. Uh, they got eco-friendly ones. They have touchscreen ones nowadays and yeah life is getting cooler with vending machines i think they are awesome they got sleek designs and they're colorful as fuck and they just make cities seem more flamboyant kind of um and yeah that's uh that's the stuff i've only learned just today too and we still got uh about nine days of learning about vending machines left so uh in two weeks time you come to me and you ask me any vending machine questions and I'll be able to answer them like that, yo.